Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Easter Bunny veggie tray. I made this a few years ago for Easter and it was a huge hit. I can't wait to show you guys how to make it, so let's get started. So what we're going to need to make our cute little bunny are two loaves of bread dough, and you want those to be thawed but still cold, slivered almonds for his cute little teeth, raisins for his little eyes, scissors to cut our dough, cooking spray, and a baking sheet. All right, let's put this cute little guy together. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is spray our baking sheet. And we're taking our first loaf of bread and we're going to cut a third of that off. And set that third aside for just a second. We're going to take our piece that is two thirds and we're going to create the body. And this will be an egg shape. So I'm just going to place that on the baking sheet and then kind of shape that. And then we're gonna take the third of our loaf and we're going to shape the head, which is going to be in more of a pear shape. All right, and once you have that formed, we're going to cut the sides for whiskers. Just like that. Okay, and with our second loaf of dough, we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to take that half and cut it in half again. And we're going to use these two pieces of dough to make the ears. So we're just going to roll those out. All right, and then we're just going to take those two ends and put them together and put them at the top of our bunny's head. Okay, and do the same thing with the other piece of dough. And I kind of like to shape the bunny ears different, so I'm going to have this one going down. Okay, and then we're going to take our other half of dough and we're going to cut it in half again. And then we're going to take this half and cut it in half one more time to create the feet. And I'm just making that a little bit pointy at the end so that he has big thumper feet. And then using our scissors, we're going to cut out little toes. Just two little slits right there, like that. And that is one foot. Place it down here at the bottom. Do the same thing with the other piece. Okay, and we're going to take our last piece of dough and we're going to cut a third of that off. and cut the remaining two thirds in half to create the hands. And I'm just kind of making that into a circle shape. Then we're going to cut little fingers 
just two slits. Put those on the sides. Okay, we're going to take our last little bit of dough and we're going to create the cheeks and the nose. So we're going to need two large balls and one small ball. And place one cheek here by the whiskers. And the other one right next to it. And lastly, the nose. All right, and then we're going to grab our almonds and our raisins. We're going to take two of the almonds and place them right under his cheeks for little teeth. So just slide those right in there. And then we're going to grab two raisins and place them right up here for the eyes. All right, and that is it. Your cute little bunny is ready to go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take some clear wrap and spray it with some cooking spray. And we're going to let our bunny rise for about 15 to 30 minutes. Once you've let your bunny rise for 15 to 30 minutes, you're going to put him in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes or until he is a nice golden brown. When your bunny is done cooking, pull him out of the oven and set him aside and let him cool. And while he's cooling, I just added some lettuce to place him on. And now we're going to cut out a hole in his belly to put the dip in. Just creating a little bowl. All right, and then scoop in your favorite dip. All right, and then I'm just going to place vegetables around him. All right, once you have all of your vegetables arranged, that is it, and it is ready to go to any Easter party. I hope that you were able to follow along with me. Please let me know if you did. I would love to see pictures on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Easter. Bye.